in America, we now have a culture of fraud. And I've already talked about NASA being fraudulent, speaking about the planets and their existence and gravity. But there is also a fraud that is in sports. They've deemed themselves to be untouchable. The NBA has already tanked games in front of the world. They've also fixed games. Fraudulent organization. NFL. NFL have the big, strong, superior men. And their owners are rich. They put people in Congress. So the NFL has deemed itself untouchable. They fix games. They're fraudulent. Baseball with steroids. Well, there's a whole lot of fixing and going on with baseball. Fraudulent organizations, along with NASA. Tennis, Venus and Serena, fixing matches. Fraudulent culture in sports. And I'm pretty sure you, not one of them will come out and call me a liar. As I said, I am the superior athlete on this land in existence forever. Golf, Tiger Woods, as much as I love to watch you play more Tiger Woods than any athlete today, you have thrown so many tournaments and your backer Nike has your back, owns your back actually. Very disappointing Tiger Woods. But again, it's the culture of sports. Tennis, the big four, they fix matches. Roger Federer, Nadal, Murray, Djokovic. People, I've watched sports all my life, people. It is a culture. Just like steroids was a culture in sports. Now the culture in sports is fixing outcomes, fixing matches, tanking whole seasons. They have deemed themselves untouchable because they are the superior men, as I said. But I, David Givens, Mr. Givens, am superior to all men that will ever exist. And athletes, I don't play for money, athletes, because money is an ideology. I play for the real life. So it is a culture of fixing matches, outcomes, events, and sports now. As I said, NASA is always has been a fraud. And Congress has backed the fraud. And I said, as I said, Congress, you will no longer fund NASA. And if you do, you'll be laundering money to a fake organization. And if you continue to fund NASA, then anybody who's been convicted of laundering money, you must set them free and you must compensate them and give them their money back. As I said, my intelligence has surpassed the pitiful human race, especially men. I can say that I am the superior athlete, intellectual, because that's who I am. I don't need nobody else to say it. And again, people, it is just a culture of fraud in America. People have deemed themselves untouchable when they've got in groups. Congress, NASA, sports organization. And, and, and let me tell you about sports. They are the superior men. And they kind of can deem themselves untouchable. But when the culture is so rampant, there has to be one entity, one human being to step up and call them out. And I'm calling on the military, not only for Miami-Dade County Public School System to shut them down, but also if these professional sports organizations do not pay the fine, demolish all of their stadiums and arenas. And people, this is what has to be done. This is what has to be said and spoken by a superior human being. My existence is already on the line. 
I have everything to lose. So professional athletes, I respect y'all talents and y'all abilities. I respect your youth. I'm 51. Woo! I love that young athleticism. But you all have become fraudulent. And let me touch on, people, I must touch on the SEC and Nick Saban in Alabama. Because you've bowed down to these sorry colleges and allowed them to win national championship when they are not deemed qualified. Just like Yanalis Canales is not qualified. I have to harp, harp back on to that. She wasn't qualified to be principal anywhere. And Nick Saban in the SEC, you've allowed people to win national championship in college football that were not qualified to be national champions for money, for profit. If you're not good enough, go practice, go work hard, or go do something else. Again, people, it's a culture of fraud in sports because they deem themselves untouchable. They are the superior men. And military, y'all better step y'all sorry behinds up because y'all have the weaponry. That's why I'm calling you all. I have the intelligence over you all, military, Pentagon, and whoever you all are. World leaders, I don't even see you all because y'all don't have no talents. Y'all just living off y'all past. To my beautiful baby girls who are real, much love to you all, always and forever. And the superpower people of the human race, it is a girl. Mm. You go against that entity, people, you are wiped out. And so for you sports superior men, I'm, I'm going to call you who you are, superior men of the world. You athletes who have put in time, who have slaved for that superior physicality that y'all have. You deem yourself, you all have deemed you all selves untouchable when you've gotten with the wealth of the man who controlled things. But I, Mr. Gibbons, will let you know that you are not untouchable. Because as I said, I'll ask the military to demolish all of your arenas, stadiums. Notice that I'm not asking the military to kill any one of you all. Simply just demolish the arenas, the stadiums. You no longer play. Because you become fraudulent. And you thought you were untouchable. I, Mr. Gibbons, will break my foot off in you behind and get disability. And have a legitimate reason to get disability. So people all... Love goes to my pure girls who are governed under corruption. Miami-Dade County Public School System, you have to be in front of the world and you have to come clean. Because if I, David Gibbons, have to continue it, I will. And people, it's just a, a culture of fraud in America. But this dude, Mr. Gibbons, I'm not that fraud. My beautiful girls, they are not the frauds. The superpower of the human race, the girl. Please do not let anything affiliated with her come out of your mouth. For your sake. Much love to my parents. And people, again, my, my men, my men. You got to get that fraud out your sports. Because I haven't watched you all in about eight months. And I said, my guy Tiger Woods, Nike. Nike, I really want to destroy everything that is affiliated with you, Nike. Because you control Tiger Woods, Venus and Serena Williams, and all the superior athletes that come from slaves. You know where the power is, or where the power lies in the human race. Again, Nick Saban, Alabama, SEC. If they're not good enough, they need to go practice or get out the game. And I got to say much love to my beautiful girls always and forever because they are real and they are legit. And the United States military, y'all got to step up or y'all will be the next fraudulent organization that Mr. Gibbons called out. United States Pentagon, y'all will be the next organization. I think I've already called you out. So y'all need to step up and be real like my beautiful girls and their parents and the superpower of the human race. Hmm. The girl. And good morning.